Hey guys, uh, it's been a while, but um, yeah, so finally done a test of the um, what I can get out of the Motor Max uh, using the load bench. Uh, so if you look at the screen, um, just took a capture afterwards of the settings that I used. I just sort of maxed it out just so none of them would um, come come into play when trying to do the test. So battery current max 400, uh, absolute max current is 500. If um, if that's ever triggered, it yeah, cut out and you have to reset the vest. So I'm gonna put that quite high. Um, motor current max 400. Obviously, I wouldn't run these settings um, if I put that into some sort of vehicle because you'd end up with having some issues. Um, so normally I'd run that at like you know whatever the motor's comfortable at. So probably like 120 amps or something, um, and then have that. Uh, absolute max current as close as I can get it without getting any faults um, so yeah the battery uh, current max I'd have yeah probably around similar to the motor max somewhere about um, but yeah then they're braking and stuff that's just what the VESC automatically put in there so I just left it alone because uh, I don't need the braking on this test so it doesn't really matter um, but yeah anyway um, I've run the field windings at 12 volts and uh, just went full speed um, on the motor and then increased the load which is obviously that, that pressure flow gauge uh, pressure flow flow um, valve that I just manually crank by hand and then using the dyno setup of the the uh, weight scale on the thing going into the Arduino records the data um, also I've added a line to it i haven't done the spreadsheet yet but i'll do it um i've actually got a kilowatts output so i can sort of verify that against the input kilowatts um obviously it's not going to be spot on i think there's going to be a lot of efficiencies that are lost through the actual setup like the chain drive and stuff like that i had to put a um a big sprocket on the hydraulic motor because it kept cavitating um because that hydraulic motor or the hydraulic pump whatever you want to call it um is isn't designed to be run at the high speeds that the alternator puts out like 3000 rpm um i think it's more of a slow turning one so i've had to put a big uh, sprocket on there to slow it down a bit but i've made all them adjustments in the equations in the arduino script so everything should be still exactly the same as if it was linked up um obviously just efficiency might be a little bit lost Anyway guys, I hope you like, like the video and um, yeah, please subscribe and like if you do and I will be probably next video will be uh, putting this into my kid's quad bike um, because he's got a little brushed one at the moment and it's it's alright uh, but when I try and boost, boost it up a bit it just overheats the motor to you know what I need, what speed he wants to be at so um, it's just not. It's not great, so I want to put this in there and see how it goes. All right, cheers, guys. See ya. Yeah, so the uh, motor ended up uh, stalling out, um, either whatever happened, something got um, lost there, but um, yeah, I've had higher figures than this, I had up to 6 horsepower, over 6 horsepower before, So, but that was the result I got then, um, I only get small chances to run this um, dyno test because it's just so loud, so um, I'm probably going to yeah stop, stop doing them until I find a better way of... Uh, load testing them because that's it's way too loud it doesn't really come out in the video well it does but 
really doesn't <laughs> come out and how loud it is. Um, I can, yeah, my wife hates it and I have to wait till the neighbours go out, so it's that loud. But anyway, yeah, with the um, talk, you've got 14.72 um, horsepower was 4.6 and kilowatts was uh, 3.4. For free, so um, if you pause the video in the bottom left hand corner, you will see on the vest tool it will say the um, watts being used, and in the, on the top right screen, you've got the Arduino output. And I think, yeah, definitely, um, the kilowatts is the last row. Um, so if you pause it, you can verify the two and then the efficiencies um, work out you know how efficient that motor is but obviously you've got inefficiencies in the load tester in the load bench and chain drive and hydraulic pump and whatever else so um yeah I'd probably say it's not as bad as what that's actually making out it is um but anyway yeah um i've put that motor in a um, quad bike for my kids now and it's a beast absolute actual beast um I'll get on it and it just throws, <laughs> wants to throw me straight off the back because I just preload the suspension and with the kids on it, it doesn't preload the suspension so it doesn't really uh, lift on them so it's pretty good, it's good and a bit safer for them but um, yeah anyway, um, I'll be making that video soon I um, hope you like this one and uh, if you do, please like and subscribe um, oh yeah, and also here you can obviously just on this output here on this graph um, you can see it's at two two thousand one hundred thirty five or whatever that is, and then that's giving you there's your fourteen point five nine four point four one. So you got your yeah you can sort of see the RPM. Maybe I'll um, link this in with the um, in the description so you can actually go through the chart and look at different RPMs but yeah anyway I hope you like the video guys and um, if you do please like and subscribe and be ready for that quad video cheers bye